Hey guys, this is Silent Masses, aka Robert, and I'm going to do something a little different today. Uh, as some of you guys might know, and most of you probably don't, assuming I'm talking to anyone, uh, my most popular video right now is actually a review of the Crosley Executive record player. Review being the operative word there. Um, the problem with that uh, is that that also happens to be my most disliked video. And I'm here to just address the why. Um, because it's been, shit, more than a year since I made that video. Um, so I feel I need to explain myself. Uh, so about a year ago or so, uh, I bought a record player. I needed a budget record player because I was getting into vinyl. Uh, the record player I went with was a red and tan, vintage styled, uh, Crosley executive. Uh, you can currently get one for one oh nine ninety nine. Uh, at least at my local record shop, you can. And when I first bought it, uh, I got an album to play on it. Uh, that record was Pink Floyd's uh, Wish You Were Here. Uh, the limited edition reissue, of course. Um, however, in the review, I, I played a record. Uh, I played Queen's The Game. Uh, thankfully, I didn't get any DMCA takedown strikes on it or anything. Probably because I only played it for about... 10 seconds, but it doesn't matter. Um, in the comments of that video, a lot of people, let's say, raised their concerns about my choice of record player. And uh, I'm basically here to explain myself. Uh, because you see, when I bought it, uh, my record player, that is, I was poor. I, I, I could I could barely afford to feed myself. Uh, as some of you guys know, I still live in my parents' house. Um, and at the time I had basically no income. Um, so when I saw something that I, I really wanted, uh, I, I would have had to have got it then and there. Uh, and that's exactly what happened with the record player. Uh, and I'm going to be frank, that record player, it has some problems. <laughs> it definitely has some problems. Um, first being that the very first record I ever bought, uh, being Gorilla's Plastic Beach, um, I bought that on vinyl, double LP, uh, long, uh, double LP, you know, audiophile grade vinyl. Uh, 180 gram, gram, I believe, is the term. Um, I, I I bought that I bought that to use on a separate record player that I had. That record player eventually broke, uh, which is why I bought this one to begin with. Um, well, uh, that that record would not play very well on the old record player either, uh, or at least it wouldn't at the time. Now I know it was because the record player was broken, not the record. Um, but this record player, the Crosley, uh, it won't play it either. Um, and at first I thought, oh, great, I got a faulty record. But, no. Um, since then I have accumulated a decent-sized collection of vinyl. Um, and it does this thing where it absolutely skips. It skips horribly, especially on the outer grooves of longer records. Um, and it does this with heavier weight vinyl. So your standard vinyl, your I, I don't exactly know the weight of standard vinyl, uh, that'll do fine. Especially with newer records, it'll do fine. But, uh, 
once you get into audio file grade vinyl, uh, it skips. It skips really, really bad. Uh, we're talking like it skips four to five grooves. Uh, and it'll do this several times in a row. Um, and I found that this problem is twofold. Uh, first, it will not play heavy, heavy vinyl. And second, it doesn't do well with new vinyl. It's possibly because newer vinyl is printed on audio, um, on audio file quality vinyl as it is, uh, but I don't know. Uh, now granted, my newest album, uh, Vessel by 21 Pilots, uh, plays perfectly on it, and Wish You Were Here plays perfectly on it, uh, American Fool by John, Mel by John Cougar Mellencamp plays perfectly, uh, even Left Overture by Kansas, but, but the, uh, the newer, the newer albums that I have, uh, the, uh, Plastic Beach, of course, being one of them, uh, also Green Day's American Idiot, um, and Nirvana's Bleach, they don't play well, and part of this is because of the weight of the vinyl, but I have to lay that blame squarely at the feet of the record player itself, um, because any decent record player <laughs> that is made these days will be designed with it in mind, with audio vi with audio file grade vinyl in mind. Um, and so that is my mistake, uh, is that I did not realize things, at, and that basically that's on me. Another thing I was told is that it will destroy my record collection. Um, and I have come to the conclusion that, given enough time, unfortunately that may be true. Uh, it has a very, very heavy track force for uh, your average, you know, record player. For your, for your average phonograph, um, and as anyone who's familiar with phonograph records knows, uh, heavier track force means your vinyl wears out a lot quicker. Um, so unfortunately, um, except with newer vinyl, that is better, typically better made, because it's not made in such gigantic numbers, um, I have stopped playing vinyl through it. Uh, I test it out now and then, uh, in the vain hopes that maybe the stylus will have stopped skipping, or that records will have gotten better. Completely ignoring the fact that that's not the way things work. Um, originally I planned for this video to be, uh, me going through the comments on the original video and answering them one by one. Um, but I realized that I more or less did that anyway. Uh, not in a video, but in the comments of the video. Uh, if I can, I'll try and put an annotation to it somewhere up here. I don't know. Um, I'm also going to adjust this camera so that you guys can... Alright, there we go. Um, and really, uh, going on this nine minute video now, right now, uh... I just want to say uh, to anyone that is trying and looking at a, at a vinyl player, if you find yourself looking at this one, I would really, really recommend that you take a second look at whatever your second choice is. Uh, granted, your, your, granted, this is probably the cheapest one on the market that you can get brand new these days. But, as I said um, in the comments of the original video, with vinyl especially, you get what you pay for. Since I only paid $100 for mine, of course I only got $100 worth of good, of good sound, um, which, as records go, is not good. It is, it's, va it's bad, in fact. It's, it's bad. Um, 
And so, what I'm saying is, A, once I get the money, I'm going to replace it with a decent one, <laughs> preferably one that's not Crosley. Um, but also that if it's 20 or 30, even $50 more, you will get that much more enjoyment out of your record player. Because I wish that I had paid 150 to 160 dollars for the record player when I had the chance. Because then I wouldn't be having the problems that I have. I wouldn't be able to not listen to one of my favorite albums of all time. And I wouldn't even be having to make this video. So in conclusion, be careful what you pay for, because you're going to get it. And that's about it. Uh, that's all I got for this time. Uh, I've got video plans in the works, uh, but I'm starting school soon, and I uh, am currently looking for a job, so uh, it might be a while. Uh, in the meantime, you can go watch my janky brand pog video if you are so inclined I'll put that over on this side somewhere uh, or you can of course subscribe where is that down there now I think it's down here now uh, and that's it uh, this has been Robert aka the silence masses and I will see you all next time bye bye